I, 37, male, found out. My wife, 33, female, has been cheating. Confronting her about it has opened up other horrible truths. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. I-37, male, found out. My wife, 33, female, has been cheating. Confronting her about it has opened up other horrible truths. Sorry if this is the wrong place to post. Online advice is new territory for me. Long post with many layers. I've been with my wife for 16 years, married for almost 14. We have two daughters, one is mine biologically, the other is mine in every other way. I love them all with all my being. A few weeks ago, I took my wife to get her eyebrows microbladed, a source of great insecurity for her. During which I hoped to enjoy a night of dining and fun in the city, just to enjoy each other's company on a rarely enjoyed date night. While she was enduring the procedure, she left her phone with me. After a bit, a notification popped up. It was my stepdaughter. Even though I'm completely unaware on how to use Snapchat, I thought it would be fun to surprise her with a response from dad instead of mom. It took a few minutes, but... I was able to fire off a goofy picture back to her. After sending, I somehow stumbled in her chat section. At first glance, it was nothing, but then I noticed a name. A name I've always hated. Well, call him Dick. I hesitated at first, never wanting to be that type of guy who snoops through her phone, but curiosity got the best of me. I was floored by what I saw. Detailed conversations about a tryst they had recently. The details of which I will mostly keep silent. But let's just state that it was about oral sex. I couldn't help but to continue reading. It was difficult for several reasons. The obvious betrayal set aside. As I've learned about Snapchat portions so will delete it automatically. So they jumped wildly, and details were sparse from the past. What I did learn was that it had happened a few times over the past few months, including on my birthday as I slept upstairs. I work very early. I know at my age birthday aren't as exciting or important that aging for you, but it stung a little extra for sure. In between the flirting and details were pictures. Nothing too graphic, but certainly problematic. And probably the most hurtful was how she talked about me. Certainly not much positive, and at best only half true. And at worst, just blatant lies or misleading statements. She got to a moment for a break in her procedure, so I put the phone down. Visibly shaken, she asked what was wrong not wanting to cause a scene in public or involve the poor girl doing the procedure in our mess. I just told her I wasn't feeling well and wanted to get some fresh air. I spent the rest of the procedure about two hours walking down trying to figure out what steps to take next. After the procedure, I told her we had to put a hold on the other plans to both of our dismay, intending to discuss things when we got back home. Once we reached our car, I couldn't hold back. I told her everything I saw. I told her not to touch her phone because I wanted to talk to her about it point by point and didn't want her removing or deleting anything anywhere from her phone. We cried and screamed all the way home. Once home, we set the kids up and we went to our room where I drove in head first. I had her unlock her phone and give it to me, which she eventually did, very reluctantly. That's where it got even harder. She admitted to the infidelity with Dick and the basement on multiple occasions, but as I dove deeper in the phone, I found out a couple of other issues. It turns out that while we are dating, before we were married, 
She had been with a friend in college that I always feared, but she had always denied. She insists, the same with Dick, that they did not have intercourse, only oral, making out, etc. A continuous subject is when we seem to disagree on the definition of sex. Hearing this, my mind ran away and I began to ask about any and every situation where I feel she might have been able to cheat. Nothing too serious except one. One night years ago after work, she didn't come home until almost 2 a.m. I remember asking where she had been. She told me she was out, nothing more. Despite my worries in my new relationship, naivety, I let it go for the time being. But it always lingered in the back of my mind and burst out that night. As I asked, in between anger and hurt, she suddenly tightened up. She started crying and assumed that this was the one that would end our relationship. Instead, without going into detail in fairness to her, it was the story of her sexual assault that she had never told anyone. She cried. I cried. We held each other forever. I felt like the world's biggest asshole while simultaneously hurt and betrayed from the other stories of her actually infidelity outside of the assault. I assured her that the assault wasn't her fault and that, despite my feelings now, that I would certainly never hold that against her. What piece of shit would? She stopped the fighting and that point as we were both worn out. Over the next few days, we tried to be cordial and mend fences where possible. The problem was that, as is abundantly clear above, I'm not social media savvy. I don't use it terribly often, if ever. Well, she is, and has quite large following across several platforms. She has been using those platforms to create sympathy for herself. Not giving details, but using cryptic messages about how sad she is, how everything is ruined, how bad her depression currently is. Now our friends are sympathetic towards her without knowing any details. While well, I appear to be the unsympathetic husband who makes her miserable. I have seen comments about how I may be the problem. Now I know I'm not free from any blame here. I work a lot, strange hours sometimes. I've had to move my disabled mother and brother in with our family to take care of them, which she has been truly helpful with. I'm also currently dealing with health issues of my own, and I can admit that because of these things, I've not been the most attentive husband for her emotionally or sexually. I have tried, but... It's difficult sometimes as life gets in the way, but the fact is that I wanted to. I'm just not sure she does, and I don't feel that it justifies her infidelity. I am at lost here. It seems that every direction I look is the wrong one. I don't want to lose my wife. I don't want to lose my girls. I don't want to walk away from her when she needs me. As her sexual assault revelation has taken a toll on her that no woman deserves. But I also don't want to sit back and be a sucker. To get belittled and betrayed. Just to brush my shoulders off and say it's not big deal. I'm lost and have nobody else to turn to here. So I take the terrifying step that I'm completely uneducated on. And came here. Do I file for divorce, seeing as how this seems to be a troubling trend? Do I stay with my wife despite the betrayal and try to learn to be a better husband for her in her time of need? Should I tell my friends and family to save face and reveal the truth or would I be considered as shaming her? Please help. I don't know what to do.